On Twitter yesterday, ex-LEC caster and League of Legends personality Indiana Frosker and Black has announced her departure from the industry, although quite bitterly. For those unaware, there was a fair bit surrounding Frosk's departure from the LEC, mostly surrounding her own views and actions. After her LEC departure tweet, she addressed the Reddit community saying, Ah, one last Reddit hate thread. Nice. I gave you so much of my life and effort and it was never worth it to try for your acceptance. You don't know anything, you torture players and personalities. You truly are, and I mean this, the worst aspect of this incredible community. When doing research for this video, I had no idea half of the stuff involving Frost had even happened, mostly because it was predominantly outside of League, but I digress. I'm going to cover a bit of what she's been involved in here quickly, as all of the commentative negativity from herself and the community was what would cause her eventual departure from the industry, but everything will be in the description for your own needs. Also, this isn't in chronological order, just some stuff that's happened. In May of 2022, following the mass shooting in Buffalo, New York, Froskaroon blamed memes and Gamergate for quote-unquote radicalizing gamers into becoming mass shooters. This was obviously a pretty outlandish and inconsiderate opinion that the community was heavily opposed to. After leaving the LEC, Froskaroon's future job at G4TV would begin to downward spiral when she used the segment meant for Red Dead Online to talk about sexism in gaming and, when she was criticized for the content she produced, said quote-unquote fans didn't like her because she wasn't as bangable as Olivia Munn, her G4 predecessor. Even in this YouTube channel, we have the chat in front of us, I can see you, without a doubt there will be backlash because I'm not as bangable as the previous host. Proskurin is heavily linked to the downfall of longtime G4 TV after, when criticized in G4's relaunch, essentially told viewers, if you don't like it, go watch something else. So maybe for 2022, we'd be a bit nicer, a bit more self-reflective, and we enjoy the fact that people are working hard to make free content for you. If you don't like it, don't watch it. Peace! After the massive G4 layoffs, which as I've just said she was kind of the catalyst for, she tweeted this highly insensitive tweet. Anyway, among other things she's been involved in, her departure from the industry is met with equally as much happiness as it is sadness. Her departure tweet reads, I've been angry for a long time with my peers for not using their power and voice to stand up for others in the industry. Had to come to some hard terms that people I'd known for years who I thought were good friends just weren't. Devastated me for a long time. Anyway, I'm leaving the industry. Found new work elsewhere. This industry is really messed up and what happened to me and plenty of others wasn't fair. And it could have been avoided if we all stood up together. You let me down, but I get why. Cheers and good luck. And in a completely quote unquote unrelated tweet, Quickshot said, shower thought for the day. If everywhere you go, things are on fire, consider that you may be the match. What are your thoughts on the situation? Let me know in the comments below and for more league news, click the video on your screen. Bye.